Hey guys, 25143J here. I just watched the most heartfelt movie I think I've ever watched in the world. I've just watched the. Uh, sorry, my light up here was buzzing at me. I just watched the most heartfelt movie I think I've ever watched. In my entire life. The Fault and Our Stars. And I've got to say. That is the. It, it is a. If, if it is not for the faint of heart. And I've got to say. That. Was awesome. But sad at the same time. When I say awesome, I mean, I, I watched it start to finish. Absolutely, it was absolutely well done. I give it, uh, I give it two thumbs up, even though I can not really hold up both thumbs. But I give it two thumbs up, and I give it a five star rating. I, I give it, like, the highest rating any possible I mean it's it's a it's a heartfelt tale um it's about this girl named Hazel Grace Lancaster I'm gonna try that one more time it's about this girl named Hazel Grace Lancaster there you go I'll leave it in there, but I had to say her name right. And then her boyfriend, Augustus Waters. Well, uh, that not really spoils it, but that kind of, well, if you haven't seen the movie, I recommend, excuse me, I recommend you see it. That is, that is the most heartfelt tale I think I have. Uh, oh my god. I was literally heart. I was heartbroken at the end when I found out. Well, I can't say. I just recommend that if you have not seen The Fault in Our Stars, go on to. Go on. Go on Amazon. Uh. You know, go Amazon, eBay, if you're gonna, or go to Walmart, freaking Target, Best Buy, wherever video, wherever videos, wherever this movie is sold, or if you want to rent it, go on either iTunes or Redbox, and or and uh, you know, it, however you can get this movie, I recommend you get it. It is a very, very good, very sad movie. Oh my lord. Keep in mind, I don't really show emotion as much as I should because of my autism, I guess I could say. I don't know if, what autism has to do with showing emotion. But I've got to say, this movie is very hard, very... It's very, it tugs at your heartstrings. Let's just say that. Near the end, it it tugs at your heartstrings because it's, it's very sad. But it's very good at the same time because, oh my god. <laughs> Gus, oh my gosh. His character, he... I love, and if you haven't, there's this one part, it is so, there's this one part, and it's in the very beginning, so. But there's this one part in the very beginning there, his friend, who has cancer of the eyes, and I'm not trying to spoil anything, I do apologize, but I won't say what his name is, and I really can't say anyway because I forget, but there's this one uh, it's, 
It was kind of funny, but it was kind of sad at the same time. It, um, he was <laughs> he was going through um, kind of a psychotic episode, I guess you could say, or in the midst of a psychotic episode. I'm not saying it was funny because he was in the midst of a psychotic episode, but it was it was funny because he was looking for stuff to break, and or I mean he he. He was just, he, he was, he was all, he was in a psych, he was in a psychotic rage. But the way that Gus was handling it, I thought, uh, the way that Gus was handling it, I thought was pretty funny. Because <laughs> he, he, he hands him that pillow, and then he hands him the trophy later on. <laughs> Funny as heck. I love that one part. I'm gonna tell you, as as it does have some funny parts in it, it's more sad than it's more sad than than it is funny. Because it's not really supposed to be funny. It's actually really supposed to be a sad film, but it's really really good. The directors of this film, the who I, I mean. I have, okay, I don't read as far as books go, but, like, I have, yeah, so, I, let's put it this way, I haven't read the book, but pretty much I could get, I pretty much get the point as far as the storyline goes. Cause I I've just I I gotta say it is absolutely the best, the the saddest movie I have ever seen, and and yes you know who you are, if you are watching this yes I did watch this movie, start to finish, I am not kidding and no I did not need a. A Kleenex handy, even though, and if, if you are somebody who can, if you are somebody who, uh, if your heartstrings get tugged at in a certain way, and that makes that, you know, you get sad like that. And you know what I mean. I'm I'm trying to say it right. It's just not coming out. I apologize, but then I would recommend you keep a Kleenex handy, um, because guys, this this movie was sad. I am not freaking kidding you guys. I just I I loved it. That was great. Um. Never thought I, I, I. You'll you'll be surprised if you haven't seen it yet. You'll be surprised what happens at the end. And I I can't I'm not gonna spoil it. But basically that's my mini review of it. It it it's just it's really good. And they come up with a really good title. The Fault in Our Stars. So. I'm going to close out this video by saying. All, um, always remember when you watch a sad movie. And you get your heartstrings tugged at. And it's just. And you show the emotion. I would keep a Kleenex handy for this movie. Alright guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, I have a little, I have a short little update. Uh, let me, I guess I can give you guys a short update. I'm almost done with 251.43J Adventures Episode 8. Um, I yet, I have yet to edit, uh, I have yet to finish editing day two of the trip. Um, I'm almost ready to finish it and then go on to day three. Um, 
And then once I finish editing day three, I'll throw in the outro and then get ready to render it. So I want to um, go ahead and give you guys a little bit of an update. I'm going to have it out uh, by Friday. This Friday, this coming Friday is my goal, my new brand new goal. Um, to have 25143J Adventures out. So, yeah. By the way, in case you're wondering, yes, I did rent this at the library, at, at the Newark Public Library, uh, from, uh, the Licking County Library. Um, and that's actually another place you can rent it, by the way. I didn't mention that earlier, but I guess I probably should have, so. Alright, guys. I will see you in my next video. And, oh, you know what? There is one more thing I probably had to... Uh, shout out to David DeFranco, dude, if you're watching this. Um, your vlog is next. If you are watching this, your vlog is actually next... Um, I wanted to edit my adventures first, uh, cause I had forgot about it for a while cause I was sick. So I was trying to, I, I, I was trying to, yeah, I was just, guess I was just trying to get over it. Excuse me. So yeah. All right, guys, I'm signing off for real. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. 251. 43J, out.